Hi everyone, thanks for taking the time to learn more about ISC Explorers. We want to showcase the modularity of our systems, and for that, we have a 6,000 meter rated ISC Explorer AUV. Let's go take a look. Starting with the Explorer's pressure hull, it has an extremely large drive payload capacity, so if you want to make changes and upgrades in the future, it can easily be accommodated. So say you want to add power supply or data processing for a new payload, you can easily make that kind of modification. And since this section also has our batteries, you can add a second or even a third cylinder section, giving you up to 72 hours of surveying capability. And of course, with our new fast charge system, you can charge your full battery complement in under three and a half hours of having to swap out these large, cumbersome battery sections of the deck of the ship. Now, looking at our payload section, this is where we can customize Explorer to suit your specific needs. So, We've integrated synthetic aperture sonar, side scan sonar, multi-beam, you name it, we can put it in. We can even do customer furnished equipment. So in the case of this vehicle, the customer actually supplied the acoustic modem and integrating that in was absolutely not a problem. Now let's say you want to add a large number of payloads or just large payloads, something like a variable ballast system or a mass spectrometer. What we can actually do is split the hull section here, move everything forward, and drop in a whole other payload section to accommodate whatever you may need. Now, let's say you like the capability of having that many payloads, but you don't necessarily want to deal with the length that is required for having two payload sections. What we can actually do is give you a second payload section that you can swap out on the fly. So, for one mission, you're going to have your, say, pipeline tracking, payloads in there, and then you can swap it out for the next day for more of a scientific complement. Absolutely not a problem. Moving to the nose of the Explorer, it has four blank plates that you can swap out and add features to. So in the case of this vehicle, we have a traditional Papa buoy launch recovery system on the top, and an obstacle avoidance sonar on the port side, and with two blanks. But if you want to upgrade for new features, for example something for autonomous docking, you can simply pop out these blanks and replace them with the features needed for autonomous docking and you're good to go without any kind of drastic changes to your vehicle. Thanks for checking out this video. If you want to learn more about the Explorer, you can have a look at our website or check us out on LinkedIn and Twitter or just shoot us an email at info at